All right, let's have some fun by playing around with the mouse cursor in PowerShell. So we need to access .NET to do this, and there's a class that has some properties that we can use to help us move the mouse around. So system windows forms cursor. The first property we're going to look at is the clip. And when I run this, you'll see that it has a bunch of information here. The ones that we are concerned with is the width and the height. Now this is the pixel information or the screen resolution of my monitor. And one thing to note is if you have a dual monitor set up, this width will be the sum of both monitors together. And the height will be the greater of the two heights for the monitor. So you have, if you have one that's 900 and this one's 768, this would display 900 here instead of 768. So that's one thing to note. So here we have access, quick access to the width and the height in pixels. What if we want to find out what the position is of the mouse cursor right now? Well, there's another property called position that we can run. And when I run it here, you'll see that it provides us with an X and a Y value. And that is the position of the run script button on my uh, monitor. And when I move the mouse around and use F5 to run the script, you'll see that those values change in relation to the mouse. So how do we move the mouse around? Well, let's take a further look at this uh, property here by pipelining it to get member. Let's notice the type first. This is, is a specific type. It's a system drawing point type. And down here we have those X and Y properties. And not only can we get them, but we can set those properties as well. So first we have to pull up a system drawing point object to supply to this position property. And we do that by using new object. And we're going to call up that .NET um, with system drawing point. And then we want to use parentheses to supply those X and Y values. And then here we have an equals, which will assign that new system drawing point object to position. So in this case, I'm just going to put it to the top left of my screen. So when I run it by hitting F5, you'll see that my mouse disappears every single time. So it's moving it all the way to the top left. What if I want to move it to the middle of the screen? Here's where we can use clip and I've assigned it to a variable called cursor. So I'm doing the same thing up here. I'm assigning this drawing point type to position, but we're doing it programmatically by taking the cursor and pulling the width parameter and dividing it by two. And then we're doing the same thing with the height parameter. We're dividing it by two and they're in parentheses first so that the math is performed and then the resulting number is supplied much like zero was supplied up here. So this is going to be half the height, half the width. When I run it, you'll see that my mouse cursor will always return to the middle of my screen. So that's kind of fun. But let's play around with the mouse cursor a little bit more. I created this example here. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I saw online. This is the method that I came to. And we're taking the position value. We're finding the current position value of the mouse. And then we're deciding how much we want to change that value. So in this case, we're grabbing uh, just two, two numbers. And we have a switch down here, which has four possible outcomes that will be performed inside of this for loop. And the first outcome will be to keep the X position the same. Notice we're still using the drawing point and we're supplying it to the position. We're going to keep the X position the same and we're going to change the Y and add that position change, which is going to be a random number. And we have all the different outcomes to give us four uh, different means of motion. So we have up, down, left, and right based off of these items here. So when I run this, you'll notice that my mouse just kind of jiggles around a little bit. I can still move it, but it kind of has a bit of a mind of its own. And that was just like a small little tremor. We can have a five here, and that's more of like an earthquake kind of experience right there. So you can see that it's, it's just randomly choosing uh, a direction 
and a number of pixels to move the cursor in that direction. And we can even take it up a notch and go to 10. And this is more like the Michael J. Fox experience right here. So it's kind of moving around quite a bit. So that's it. That's how you can manipulate the mouse cursor using PowerShell. And let's, let's even do 20. Why not? Let's get crazy. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.